Springtime has come around again and the frogs are all hanging around the pond, listening to their funky freestyle music and trying to outdo each other in various competitions to prove who's the coolest of them all. You and your friends have the opportunity to join in all the fun by taking control of a frog each and attempting to tongue slap each other into the pond while trying to be the first to eat all those tasty bugs flying around you. Take care if you are standing on a lily leaf as these only stay up on top of the water for a limited amount of time. And if you are on one of these when it goes under, then it's back to the start for you. There are three different game modes on offer in frogs. Bug hunt, which is where you try to be the first to eat a specified number of insects. Battle, where each frog tries to push each other into the pond to score a point. And countdown, where again, each frog tries to push each other into the pond, but this time with a life being lost each time your frog is pushed in, and the winner being the last surviving frog on the pond. Frogs was originally released for the Commodore 64 by Dr. Wuro Industries in 2017 and was lauded as being a fun multiplayer game that took advantage of four player adapter technology. Thomas Ilge from Anarcho Ride Laboratories recently decided to port Frogs across to his favourite 80s personal computer system, the Atari ST. However, Thomas was never going to be just satisfied with doing a straight port and wanted to make sure that the ST version would introduce a few additional layers to its gameplay experience. The first and most obvious improvement to the Atari ST version over the C64 version is the addition of computer AI controlled frogs. The C64 version was always restricted in that it only offered a two to four human player experience. The addition of AI opponents is a significant enhancement as it not only provides a single player experience, but adds depth to multiplayer games as well when you have less than four human players, as Frogs is best played as a four player experience. Or is it? Believe it or not, Thomas has added a mega party mode which allows up to six frogs to play at the same time. However, the mega party mode is not automatically enabled and the trick to switch this feature on is contained within the game manual that comes with the physical release of frogs for the Atari ST. While Frogs for Atari ST supports simultaneous four-player gameplay via an adapter, Thomas has also made the provision to allow four-player play via MIDI connection with two Atari STE units. The list of enhancements don't end there. Frogs for Atari ST includes many more pond maps to play with, and it also includes a C64 skin mode. The only area where Frogs for Atari ST is slightly lacking to its C64 counterpart is with the general frog movement, with the Commodore 64 version moving quicker and feeling a bit more responsive. Regardless, the game still plays quite well on the Atari ST. Interestingly, Christian Glensayer, the creator of the C64 version of Frogs, was involved with reproducing the game's soundtrack on the Atari ST version, and he's done a great job with recreating the bouncy tune using the ST's YM chip. While a digital download version of Frogs for Atari ST has been available for a couple of months, Anarcho Ride Laboratories has just issued a couple of physical boxed editions. The Multiplayer Double Pack and the Multiplayer Power Pack editions. Both come with a copy of the game Zataka ST, while the later comes with an ST4 player adapter as well. Frogs is a fantastic party game that is sure to bring a lot of fun and laughs when playing with friends. The box editions are very well packaged and with the inclusion of a bonus game, 
it becomes a must buy for any avid Atari ST collector.